Today, let us have some fun with the uh, dates using uh, automation rules. Now, let us say you want to calculate the time or days since the ticket is open, or maybe you want to calculate the date difference starting from uh, the date when it was created till today, or maybe from due date onwards, you want to uh, calculate uh, days since the issue is due to be resolved anything anything related to date you can do that uh, quite easily actually with the these automation rules and uh, you can always take a look at this page if you go to the smart value documentation you can find this page called date and time functions now for our example what we'll do we'll basically take a look at this uh, part here uh, this particular uh, uh, date diff function kind of a function i believe where you can uh, do something like date one dot diff and you can use date two and then you can specify the unit like uh, unit is let us say hours days or weeks or months or years or, or maybe business days i think uh, i think business days uh, make sense especially when you don't really want to count uh, the weekends now in our example we'll be using this uh, this smart value and uh, uh, this smart value to get the the created date issue dot created and then we'll uh, maybe take a look at the weeks or dates so in our in our case in our rule what i'll do i'll uh, for for the sake of example i'll trigger this rule to 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 run when i transition the issue to maybe in progress on hold or work in progress and uh, and to show you how it looks like, we'll simply add uh, a comment and also we'll add, we'll update a custom field, for example, because why not? <laughs> so to get the dates, uh, so to get the, the to get the days since the issue was uh, created, you can use something like now now dot diff. Then you can use issue dot created. Then you can pass the unit, which is either days or maybe weeks, and then you can do something like dot abs which is absolute so you don't really want uh, the negative value so i can use absolute here uh, and by the way i'm i mean i'm just uh, using the example here so if you want to do something like uh, abs uh, it will be, it will basically return the uh, the positive uh, number not the negative number so you you can you can obviously take a look at uh, different math uh, functions i believe if you want uh, it is not really hard to go through the smart function the smart values uh, and different things that you can do with it i think it is just a matter of couple of days you spend couple of days on it and uh, you can pretty much do uh, everything that you need to do to get your automation rules working so it is quite straightforward you just have to play with it now what i'll what i'll what i want to do is i want to uh, display the time since the issue was created and and also the uh, the the same thing for the due date for for example this issue has been due uh, or, or this issue has been passed its due date for maybe two days or three days something like that so if i if i go back to the uh, page i can take a look at the due date so you can do something like issue dot due date so let us see if it works so i'll copy this and uh, issue um due date difference and uh, i will use the due date here and uh, also for the week part why not because we can and uh, let us see how it works and i'll probably copy this and i'll paste it uh, uh, here where i want to basically update uh, my my analysis field just to give you an example it is something like we are doing a calculation although this particular field is a text field i believe but we can we can definitely use it so let me just save it and uh, i'll open probably one of my rule where i know i have the analysis field filled in maybe not 35 maybe 30 i believe i want something a bit old issue that was probably created uh, last month or maybe so it was created on 4th of December. I may also want to take a look at the due date. Let us see if we have a due date field added 
on this particular issue type i think it should be because we are talking about uh, um we, we, because we are talking about bug and you, usually you have a due date so i'll probably add something like 22nd of december so this was a, this was basically due on, i think a couple of weeks back so we now have a few fields to work on and uh, to trigger this i'll move the issue to in progress and let us see I'll probably wait for the issue to issue uh, for, for the transition for not the transition but the automation rule to do some magic and if you want to if you're if you're, if you're impatient you can always uh, take a look at the audit log and I can see that something happened so let us go back to the issue and do a refresh sometimes you get a message here like you know this issue has been updated by automation rule but not always I, I don't know the reason but it seems to be working because now you see here that we have a comment added and we also have this uh, analysis field which is now showing us a day since uh, the created date which is I believe uh, since 4th of December. It looks okay to me. And also we have uh, the time or not the time but days since the due date. So it works. It, it works uh, uh, quite well. I may want to change the due date. Let us say if you want to change it to maybe 4th of December, um, same as the uh, created date. And if you now maybe do a in progress again, and I go back to the audit log just to refresh uh, the log. So it worked again, hope because it was straightforward. And if I do a refresh again, now it says it, it shows not exactly the same thing because we are talking about day days since so i i guess uh, it is also considering the uh time but i think you get the idea i think you can always play with it but uh, i just wanted to show you that it works it works uh when you are trying to do some uh automation and uh where you want to basically calculate the days since a specific event let us say days since created or days since the due date like this issue should have been resolved hopefully by 4th of December or oh, it was actually 22nd of December but uh, that was the original date now maybe for some reason you realize that it is not it is not really possible maybe you want to set the new due, due date as uh, maybe 19th or something else so you can now reset it but you will have this information in the history that you did update the due date so you you can probably do a bit of kpi if you want using these uh, calculations that you can perform on uh, on the date fields so i hope you are enjoying the, the series on automation uh, uh, rules using uh, jira i'm talking about these automation rules because uh, on my channel my main focus my main uh, I mean, I should not say main focus, but one of the uh, one of my key interest is of course automation, and I have plenty of videos on uh, Scriptner for Jira, both on server and cloud. But I also wanted to cover automation rules because uh, these automation rules are now built in uh, to your. Th these are like these are part of your instance on cloud, so it makes sense if you want to do some automation without purchasing any app totally fine i mean uh, you can do a lot of things and that is what i want to cover that is wh what i want to show you that use y even by using the built on automation rules uh, you can do quite a lot of uh, interesting things um and uh, do let me know if you have any specific thing that you want me to cover using the automation rules the built-in automation rules Al although i have covered quite a lot of uh, things already uh, we have already covered things like uh, calling rest api webhooks and uh, uh, how to interact how, how to basically integrate jira service management and jira software based projects so we have been covering quite a lot of things and i'll probably continue this journey if i have to if, if i encounter something totally new if i come across uh, some interesting use case i'll definitely share uh, and i'll probably create a video as well so i hope you are enjoying the, the videos so that is all I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today. Thank you very much.